Congrats on the win, Z. How big of a factor was Jose in this one? Jose was the X factor in this one. His energy, his consistent ball pressure uh, really carried us in the fourth quarter. Take us behind the scenes a little bit on him. We see what he brings on the court. What does he mean to the locker room as a whole when, when you're at practice every day and meetings, the general grind? Everything y'all see out there, translate that to real life. He's the same person. He's the same dude on and off the court. Got nothing but love and respect for him. Zion, the offense got going pretty quick in that first quarter. You had 12 points. They were running a lot of ball screens for you. Can you talk about what that showed you, what you got to see off of those ball screens that maybe you haven't seen in other sets earlier this season? Um, I like attacking off the ball screen because uh, it allows me to really see the defense. And when I come off the screen, it's like that quick snapshot. If they're loaded up, I got B.I. right there, or I got C.J. on the throwback for the screen. Uh, we did a lot my second year in the league, uh, so I think coach was just incorporating that a little bit into the offense and allowed me to get into a rhythm. Gotcha. And on the other end, how would you rate your defense tonight? You tell me, man. I'm going to know something about you. What, how would you rate my defense tonight? Be honest. There's no wrong answers. Be honest. Be honest. I can accept that. I can accept We got the win. I can accept that. I, I appreciate your honesty. And uh, just uh, what did you see in that third quarter that allowed them to get back in the game? And then in the fourth quarter, how y'all eventually turned it around? I mean, second chance opportunities. I mean, Jalen Green obviously got going, but, you know, when he misses a three and they get the rebound, they throw it back out to him. I mean, it's muscle memory at that point. So he was just knocking shots down. And we weren't getting back in a transition. They got probably six to eight quick transition points. And... And things add up, and things add up, and we go from being up 16 to down four or six. And coach switched up some things with the rotations to, uh, tonight, moving Jose Moore to the second and fourth quarter, kind of putting you and Bi together. Just how did you kind of feel with the way things were rolling tonight with those groupings that you had out there? I feel like things were uh, rolling pretty well for us. I would say the only slow quarter, or the slow point for us, was really that third quarter. Um, but outside of that. Uh, I feel like we executed pretty well. Yeah, and just a little bit more to you, you know, handling the ball on the perimeter. Um, when you can survey the defense, I mean, just how does that open things up for you guys? Uh, <clears throat> I'm a willing passer in, in the sense of I feel like I'm going to make the right basketball play and the right winning play. So, you know, it's easier for them to send a double team when I'm catching it in the mid post. It, but if I'm coming off a screen, it's hard for them to double because I'm okay. I'm a really, I feel like I'm a really good passer. So I'm going to find my shooters, and I trust my teammates to shoot the ball. So just coming off the screen, hitting B.I. two or three times right off with the quick pass, it opens the game up. So when they try to load up, it's that slight moment of hesitation that really opens the game up for me. Zion, uh, at the very end when Jose was able to spark the crowd uh, with his defense and then with his offense as well, uh, how much of a difference does it make playing in front of the home crowd, especially when you're up, you guys are down briefly, and we're able to get back into the game? Uh, it means a lot, uh, especially when Jose hit that three. And even when he got kicked out the game, just the energy itself, uh, it just showed the home crowd with us. City of New Orleans is with us, and uh, we love it. We love it. We love when they bring that energy every game. And speaking of, of that play where Jose was ejected from the game, what are your thoughts when you're seeing that fiery energy, but it, it, it's doing something for the momentum, but you see the, the fire in Jose throughout the game? It just shows uh, what kind of competitor he is. Um, you know, the initial thoughts are like, go have, go have my brother's back, make sure he's straight. But then, you know, when things calm down, it's like, man, I wonder what that fine gonna look like. <laughs> I, I mean, I know Jose, you know, got his own money now. Are you gonna pay that fine? You know what's crazy? I told Najee and Jose and uh, her, I told all three of them, if y'all get like texts or kicked out the game, whatever, I got y'all. I got y'all, cause I, I I love that competitive energy. Like, like, 
even, uh, no, I don't want to see him get kicked out the game. But, you know, if they get a tech, sometimes them techs uh, can be a momentum shifter, like a little wake-up call for the rest of the team. Like, oh, he wants it that bad. We need to want it just as bad. Jose, my dog, you straight, man? Yeah, I'm my dog. I didn't know you was in here. All right, now that that's on wax. Uh, tonight you were highly efficient, man. Eight of nine from the field. Uh, finally got some free throws, so 10 of 12. I'm telling you. Yeah, uh, so you, you're you in the groove, man. How, um, what's been propelling you to get in that groove? Um, Ther Teresa Witherspoon and uh, Corey Brewer. Uh, you know, people don't see it behind the scenes, but, man, those two are always giving me confidence and just – telling me to to be me you know I was out 18 19 months that's a long time and I'm still even even in this game I'm still trying to find my in game rhythm um I think coach leaving me out there a majority of the first quarter really kind of helped me get into my rhythm and uh he's still learning my game and he's adjusting by putting me in spots to make winning plays so I think as time goes on uh, I've really found a rhythm We've talked throughout your career about, you know, just your unselfish nature and you want to get your teammates involved, but also knowing how much your scoring, you know, impacts the team. What's it like just trying to find that balance between, you know, wanting to assert yourself and make an impact, but also, you know, being the unselfish way you want to approach the game? I mean, there's time for, there's times for the, to make the pass, but then there's times when, uh, you just, got, you just got you just got to take the defender, and you just got to you just got to get that bucket, because if the team, the opposing team sees you get in a rhythm, then they're really gonna load up, and then it gives my teammates extra half a second to set up and shoot. Thanks. Thanks, man.